Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be streaming some 3DS games to my PS Vita using Citra and Moonlight. So I've already made a video on Moonlight. You must have a GeForce graphics card. But if you would like to check out that video, I will leave a link to it in the description and you can follow along and then you will be able to do this. So I won't do the complete setup on this video because it just seems a bit pointless. But once you have got Moonlight installed, you can just go ahead and just tap on start to open it. You should know how to use it already from my last video, but we are just going to connect to my computer via the IP address and what I'm going to do on my computer is go and open up Citra so basically I've just got um, Minecraft running right now because I can tab out of it or just close it down but I've actually got Citra open on my computer right now if I just connect to it and um, what we can do is we can load up a game in Citra and then play it on my PS Vita. But the first thing we need to do is go onto my computer because we need to enable the PS Vita as a controller and we also need to launch up a game. Right, so on my PC, this is the Citra emulator open right now, and the first thing I need to do is actually set up the controller. So I go to emulations and go down to configure. We need to go to controls, and we need to create a new profile. So default, this is normally our keyboard. We're going to create a new one and just call it Vita, PS Vita, anything you want. Just click on OK. And now that our PS Vita is connected, we can click on each button and then press it in. So what I'm going to do is copy it, um, basically off my 3DS. So for the A button, I'm going to use circle so I'm going to press that for B I'm going to use X for the X button I'm going to use square on PS Vita and then for the Y I'm going to use triangle so you basically just go through the whole thing obviously we use left and right shoulder buttons we can also select the start button and select button they can be the same on our PS Vita um, for the home button we could actually use and the PlayStation Vita home button. And I think that should be okay for what I want to use it for. Um, you can customize these two however you like pretty much. But once you've got them um, as how you want, you just press okay. And now we can go to file, load file. Let's load up one of our games. Let's use Yoshi's Island and let's give this a quick test. Now what I like to do is go up to view at the top, go to screen layout, and we're going to choose um, side by side. I quite like this one. And then we're going to go to view and full screen. Okay, so let's just test out some gameplay right now. Let's just press on circle for A. Let's do um, world one, select this file, yes. Obviously this does have working sound as well. If I turn it up, you will be able to hear it. Um, it's fine without any lag and stuff, but obviously I can't play it because it's Nintendo's music. What we're going to do, let's just do a quick story mode. I'll try and load it up. Hopefully it doesn't crash or anything like that. And um, yeah, I'll try and show you some gameplay. Obviously this isn't really recommended. Um, this is kind of just like a demo of what it would be like if you could play it on the PS Vita. Um, so let's just give this a quick try. So as you can see, there is a bit of lag already. Um, my PC isn't the best, so it could just be uh, my PC that's bad, or it could be the connection itself. But um, we, actually, we are actually playing it right now, and um, it is playable. I can definitely play this. Um, but there is just like a tiny bit of delay. Obviously you're going to when you're streaming something across. Um, that's, you know, kind of expected. But um, yeah, it's a bit hard to play. So this game doesn't seem to be too bad. I think what we're going to do now is test out a second game. Okay, so here is Shovel Knight. This is actually a NES game. And um, basically what I did is I kind of changed the screen layout. Because I guess the bottom screen isn't really needed as much in this. So let's just try some quick gameplay on this as well. Okay, so here we go, Shovel Knight. Let's see what this is like. I'm playing it on a bit of a bigger screen. Let's see, is there any delay? So yeah, there's definitely still a bit of delay. I reckon it's because of streaming, and my PC is definitely capable of running this. So that is kind of interesting, I guess. But as you can see, we can still play it. The music works. Um, if I just turn this up a bit, um, as you can see, the music's perfectly fine. There's no really delay in the music. It's just the actual streaming. So if you manage to find a way to stream this without any delay, um, you can pretty much play 3DS games fine on your PS Vita. Obviously not actually running, just streaming. But um, yeah, you can actually play them. So that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to do a really quick demo of what it's like to stream the Citra 3DS games over on your PS Vita. Um, I get this question quite a lot, how do we play 3DS games on the PS Vita? This is basically the only way, and um, you'll never actually be able to emulate them on the system. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. So